morning everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, beach fishing. Beach fishing's on the agenda for today and I'm going to be chucking around some metals and soft plastics in the washy surf. We've recently had a lot of wind and big high tide so the waves are really up there but I think that should be perfect conditions for Taylor. Uh, I hope you can hear me all right and you will be able to hear me throughout the video since it's a, a little bit windy and the waves are fairly big as you can see. But there's some really nice gutters a bit further down the beach. So we're just going to give them a good old work and see what's around and hopefully get onto a few fish. Cheers for tuning in to another video. Let's get out there and give it a red hot crack. The combo that I'm going to be starting off with, with the metal lure, is this Shimano Nasi 4000. And that's on a Shimano Hard Rocker BB. How big is it? Eight foot three, so very nice for off the beach. This is more of an off the rocks combo, but should get the job done. 20 pound Kariki braid and 20 pound FC rock leader. Let's get into it. All right, first cast using this 40 gram metal. Big seas, big waves. Let's get it out there. On, on on the drop. Oh, it dropped. Come on. Yep. There's a fish. Yep. Good fish. Second cast. I can't tell what it is. It's not really fighting. I don't know why. We're about to find out if they're tailor or salmon out there. Oh, he's got a lot of weight. A lot of weight. Bring him up with the wave. Come on. That's a good wave to bring him up on. Yeah, very nice. Salmon. Big boy salmon on the second cast. Going mental on the shore. Wow. What a solid, solid fish. Second cast. My bag's over here. What am I doing? You're not going to be able to hear me very well, so I'll have to use the GoPro audio, but look at that for a chunky second cast salmon off the beach. Beautiful big Australian salmon. And he likes to roll in sand apparently. But anyway, taking on that metal lure. Chill buddy, chill buddy. I haven't caught the most amount of salmon in my life. That was a very heavy fish and a very solid model. We'll get the lure out of him and get it back out there because there seems to be a lot of bow. All right, that hook's out. Let's get this big fella back. See you, you skitty thing. That fella didn't put up the most insane fight for a big salmon. Well, that was a cracking first fish. Second cast at this beach that I've actually never fished before. The swell is absolutely massive, so I would expect they'd be getting in these gutters, but... Oh, let's just get back out there. Big, long cast. And all I'm doing is just winding, that's it. Point the rod tip down and wind. Yep. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Wow, they are on this morning. They are on this morning. Oh, dropped him. Dropped him in close. again. Wow, he came back for it twice. Oh, another one. There's a lot of them out there. I forgot to give you a bit more of a rundown. Um, it's a pretty cloudy day. The sun's supposed to be like pretty patchy on and off and I'm just working this gutter as the low tide comes up to high. These fish will be out far and as that tide comes in, they'll be working into these gutters to feed on bait fish. Come on, Salmon, where you at? Where are you? There you are. <laughs> oh wow, that's a better one. Come on, Salmon, where you at? There he is, right there, that's where he is. Wow, 
this fish is really heavy. The salmon bite is on today. Salmon bite is definitely on. I'm gonna bring him in with this next wave. Yep, come on. Oh, he's not done. Really trying to spit that hook. Sheesh, man, these things have some serious go. I've never had this much fun off the beach before. This one's got a lot more fight than the last salmon did. Yes, good fish. Very solid model. We'll get this guy on the brag mat as well. That is a solid fish. A little bit bigger than the first one. Curious to see how big he goes. Sheesh, they skits, don't they? I've never actually dealt with a fish so crazy. Never dealt with a fish so crazy. It's a chill champion. Look at that for a solid model. He's gonna go 56 or 55 actually. Look at that. Oh, 54. 54 centimeter salmon off the beach, going mental. They're pretty crazy fighters, aren't they, the old Australian salmon? Very psycho, very skitsy fish. We'll get him back. Yeah, he's gone. Wow, what a cracking first 10 minutes. First 10 minutes of fishing. Yep, there's another one. Oh, I dropped him. Yeah, this is the cast, ready? Big salmon on, oh, yep. That was a much better hook set. I reckon that guy's in there this time. Very weighty fish, this one. Oh, dropped him. He jumped out. That's when. That's like 90% of the time when you lose your salmon or tailor when they jump out of the water. That took a little bit to find the school actually. I've been walking up and down. Wow, that's a lot better as well. A lot better model. Walking up and down this little this little channel here, little gutter. It's been about a good 15, 20 minutes since it hit, so we're back on. I'd say another good salmon. Try to keep the hooks in on this one. I think I've hooked this one a bit better actually, but you just never know. It's going back out again. Another run. and get this guy in. Come on buddy. Wow that is massive that one. That's my biggest of the day. Well, I had him hooked pretty well actually. Yeah it's gonna go 59. 59 on the dot on that metal lure absolutely carving it. It's that 40 gram Yakamito like live fry I think they're called. That is a cracking Australian salmon. Look at that right there. Put up a great fight. He's bleeding quite a lot, so we'll quickly get him back. 59 centimeters. Beautiful off the beach. Stoked. See you, mate. Come on. The water's out this way, buddy. See ya. And he's off. Look at that gutter. All that whitewash stirring up the water. Confusing the bait fish, and that's why the salmon are in there. Yep, they were on again. Straight back into it. Oh, 
drop them. It's pretty hard to keep the hooks in the salmon mouth actually because they they jump around and fly all over the place. And we're on again. Drop them. And we're back on. Oh, I can't even make this up. It's like a fisherman's dream to just catch on basically every cast. He's coming in with this wave already. Oh, dropped him. Another one dropped. I mean, that hook's holding up pretty well, actually. It's not bent. Yes. Yes. I literally just have to put them on my hip. Oh, I still have him on. I thought he dropped after that little run. Come on, show me the salmon jump. Show me the salmon jump. Oh, there he is and he spat it. Right, I'm going to give a proper rundown on how I'm actually using this lure and what's going on. When I was new to fishing and especially watching on YouTube, I wanted to know the gear that people are using and everything they're doing to catch the fish. And not enough people do that. So now that I'm in the position that I can do that, I'll give you a rundown on what I'm doing. So it's a 40 gram Yakamito live fry lure. And all I'm doing is fishing this beach gutter. The gear that you want to be using off the beach is anywhere from a 3,000 to 5,000 size reel. I feel like that's absolutely perfect for fishing gutters and going after salmon and tailor. Nice big long rod so you can cast that lure out really far. So all I'm going to do Chuck that out as far as I can. Once it hits the water, I like to let this lure just sink down a little bit. I'm going to be turning that reel as fast as you can see on the screen right now. I point the rod tip pretty flat, pointing towards the waves. And all I'm doing is just winding that all the way back in. So once again, let that sit for a bit at about that pace. Salmon aren't fussy eaters. If they see that going past their face, they'll smack it. Nice steady pace all the way back to shore. And that's it. It's just as simple as finding the school on the day. And once you find them, you just smack one after another after another. I thought I'd just clarify, although I, I sound professional and I sound like I know what I'm doing, in reality, I'm an amateur fisherman. I'm just giving you my experience and my word, what I know works for me. And for me, fishing is all about learning. Every time I go out and have a fish, I learn something new. I've learned a lot from today's session and it's not even over. The majority of the time they're actually just off that edge. Just as that shallow dips back to the bottom, just as that shallow dips into the deep, as I stutter my words and we're on. It's just about working that gutter and finding the school, that's it. It takes a lot of time but some days you just get the days like today where everything just falls into place. Just keep your head down mate, keep your head down. Go you, good thing. Oh, this is a good wave. This is the one. Mate, they just got so much go in them. They just don't stop, eh? Hey? Great fun. How I'm landing these fish, is you want to look for a nice big wave that'll help wash him up. This one right here. Oh, dropped him again. What I might do is change this to a little bit of a smaller smaller lure. I got the same lure but in a smaller version. Just to see if I can keep the hooks in their mouth a bit better. Had a lot of salmon on today and I just keep dropping them because they jump out of the water, shake their head and I just pull the hook so it's probably not got anything to do with lure size but I'll just switch to a smaller one and we'll just see if that makes a difference. It's the same lure but a little bit smaller I think. So we'll chuck that one around instead. It's got a bit of a smaller hook, so that might help with our hookup rate. This is now a 20 gram live fry instead of the 40 gram. I won't be able to chuck it as far, but we'll see if that helps with our hookup rate. Probably won't make a difference, but we'll try it. Like I said, amateur fisherman. On the drop. I actually had a loop in my line and I was trying to move the loop over. He's grabbed it on the drop. Oh, stay in, buddy. I gotta play it with a wave. I 
I got it. I got it. That's a good one. That took a while. Oh, barrel rolling salmon. Another very good quality Australian salmon right there. Took a little bit of time to get this fella. Downsized to a little bit of a smaller hook just to keep that hook in his mouth a bit more. And it paid off. Beautiful big fish. Let's get this guy back to terrorize some more bait fish. I'm having a cracker every day. He's going nuts. Let's get this big fella back. Oh, mate, these things are literally like torpedoes. Look how they're designed. Super slim line, very, very strong. That fish right there is just designed to attack bait fish on these beaches. Bit of a dodgy release, but he's off. Hopefully you could see that fight all right. Um, I just had a look at the lens and there was a bit of sea spray on there, so hopefully it didn't affect the action too much. I've cleared it up. We'll get back out there. I'll probably only get a fish for another half an hour or so. Plenty of action this morning. That tide's starting to get really low now, so the gutters are kind of going away. And the fish is starting to push further back out, so probably this will be my last cast and we'll head off home. And well, that wraps up today's session fishing off the beach. I think it's pretty fair to say I had a cracking session today, getting a hit or a fish almost every cast. I had a lot of fun chucking medals around for salmon and tailor. Although the tailor weren't about today, you can't complain when there was that many salmon biting. If you're new around here and you want to see more fishing content from me, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the like button. Also, comment your opinions on what you thought about today's video and if you have any further video ideas for the future. Anyways, appreciate you all for sticking around to the end and I'll catch you in the next one.